This is chapter 11, part two. So let's say we want to convert the flow rate to a dosage rate. The patient is receiving 10 milligrams per minute through an IV piggyback. The solution has a strength of 400 milligrams per mil uh, 100 milliliters. Find the flow rate in milliliters per hour. Okay, so let's start off with the first part we've got. We have 10 milligrams for one minute. And I'm supposed to end up in milliliters per hour. Well, I have minutes, I need hours. Let's go ahead and do that conversion. If I multiply here, there are 60 minutes in one hour. And I did it this way so that my minutes will cancel out. And now I have hours in the bottom, which is what I want to end up with. Now here I have milligrams, I need milliliters. The other bit of information we're given is right here. So I'm going to multiply this and I want milligrams to cancel out. So, and that's in the top. So I'm going to put 400 milligrams on the bottom over 100 milliliters. Now our milligrams cancel out and now we have milliliters over hours, which is what we want. So you can either do some cross cancellation here or you can multiply straight across. If you multiply straight across, what you get is 60,000 milliliters over 400 hours. And then you do that uh, division and you should get 150 milliliters per hour. If you go to uh, reduce it, do some cross cancellations first. Um, 400 and 100, if you divide those by 100, you get one over four, okay? So basically this is a one now, this is a four. Now you can multiply straight across and get 600 and divide it by four and you'll get 150. Or if you notice that four and 60 will reduce, divide four by four and you get a one. Divide 60 by four and you get a 15. Now multiply 10 times 15 and you get 150, but you're done. Okay, and here is where they did the same thing. Okay, so calculating the dosage rates based on the size of a patient. This is a new type of order. We haven't seen something quite like this before. A medication order might include the compound rate two milligrams per kilogram per minute. And what it means is this, milligrams goes on the top and kilograms times minutes goes in the bottom. This means that we're supposed to receive two milligrams of the drug for every kilogram of the body weight. And it's supposed to be given that much in a minute. Okay. So let's look at this particular problem. The prescriber ordered 250 milliliters of 5%, um, I don't remember what that is, with nine milligrams of areta, aradia, um, at uh, 0 0.001 milligrams per kilogram per minute by IV stat. The patient weighs 800 kilograms and the drop factor is 20 drops per milliliter. Calculate the flow rate and drops per uh, drop rate over, over a minute. Then they, they give you some of this information here. Uh, they're pulling it out of the information we're given. 80 kilograms, that's the patient's weight. This is the order. The solution strength is nine milligrams per, uh, for 250 milliliters, these are equal. And the drop factor is 20 GTT to one milliliter. And this is information we had from the last chapter. Okay, so let's try some of this information. I'm supposed to end up with this unit. So let's start off with the weight. I have 80 kilograms over a one. Now, I wanna get rid of kilograms because it's in the top and I definitely don't need that in the top. Remember that this unit is milligrams for kilogram times minute. This has kilograms in the bottom. I need to cancel that out, so I'm gonna multiply by this. I'm 
okay? This is going to allow us to cancel out the kilograms. I still have a minute in the bottom. I still have to worry about that unit. Well, not really, it's where I'm supposed to end up, but now th this thing still exists is where I'm going. Okay, so I've used this, I've used this, I have not used this, okay? So to cancel out the milligrams, I'm gonna make a unit fraction out of this and I'm gonna put the milligrams in the bottom so that they cancel out. and 250 milliliters in the top. And that is going to allow me to cancel out the milligrams. And I'm almost there. I have minutes. Right now I have milliliters in the top. And so I do this conversion. I'm going to multiply by 20 GTT. Sorry, my set up for recording doesn't allow my hand to go over any further and over this is one um, milliliter okay so now my milliliters are going to cancel out and I have GTT in minutes so now I just need to do the multiplication if you multiply straight across don't don't worry about canceling things out right now I would do 80 times 0 0.001 times 250 times 20 and that gives you 400 and your units in the top and in the bottom I have 1 times 1 times 9 times 1 so that's just a 9 and my units are minutes. If you divide 400 by 9 you get 44.4 And so um, they will want you to round this, um, it's a four, they're gonna want you to round it down. So the answer they're gonna be looking for is 44. Now the next slide has several typos on it. Um, this right here should be uh, 0 0.001. And this rounds to a four, that's a four right there, not a three. But otherwise, this next slide is okay.